Hey there, welcome here to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you five new one pot meals. And these meals are just perfect for this time of year because you throw everything into your pot, cook it up, and then you have a fantastic dinner to serve onto your table. So let's go start cooking. We're beginning today with this classic spaghetti with Italian sausage. So to the pot on my stove, I added in one pound of sausage. You could use any type of sausage you like. Then I added in one diced up onion and I broke that sausage up and I cooked it through. Now that our sausage is cooked through, I removed any grease in the pot. I'm just removing the grease with a paper towel. I'm just kind of wiggling that paper towel around. My mom taught me this trick years and years ago and I just love it for removing grease. Now into the same pot, I added in a tablespoon of minced garlic and I gave this a stir until the garlic was fragrant. It took about 20 seconds. Now you'll toss in your one and three fourths cup of vegetable broth, a half a cup of water, 24 ounces of marinara sauce, then eight ounces of spaghetti noodles. I did break those spaghetti noodles in half just so they fit into the pot better. I gave this a stir and I let this simmer covered for about 18 to 22 minutes. I did stir it occasionally while it was simmering and then there you go. It is time to serve up your dinner. We like to top our bowls of spaghetti with Parmesan cheese, and I did sprinkle the top with a little bit of fresh parsley. The parsley is mainly to make it look pretty, but this has so much great flavor. I served it alongside of a side salad with spring mix, tomatoes, cheese, and croutons with ranch for the dressing. Now we're making this ultra fun taco pasta. I have my cutting board right here. We're going to start by cutting up our one onion and one red bell pepper into smaller pieces. Now over to my large pot, I added in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Next, once the oil is hot, you're going to toss in a pound of ground turkey or you could use ground chicken or ground beef. Then toss in those veggies, break the turkey up and cook the turkey through at this point. Once the turkey is cooked through to ensure this has plenty of flavor, I added in the seasonings. A dash of salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and then a tablespoon of minced garlic. Give this a stir, let the garlic become fragrant. It should only take about 15 to 20 seconds. And then you are going to be adding in your 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, along with one and a fourth cup of chicken broth or you could use veggie broth or beef broth and then eight ounces of penny pasta or you could use any type of shaped pasta you like. Give this a stir and let this simmer covered for about 14 to 18 minutes or until the pasta is tender. If the liquid line does get too low while this is simmering, add in about a half a cup of water at a time until your pasta is tender. This goes for any of the recipes we're making today. If the liquid line gets too low just add in some water but now that our pasta is tender I gave this a stir and then I added in our sour cream and cheese so about a fourth a cup of sour cream and a half a cup of Mexican style cheese give this a stir once the cheese is melty and the sour creams incorporated you could serve this up We love topping ours with our favorite taco toppings, so today I topped mine with a little bit more cheese, sour cream, tomatoes, and sliced avocado. This recipe is a little bit more unique, but it's so much fun to make and it is delicious. This one is our meatless meal. We are making this one pot Mexican quinoa and veggies dish. To the pan on my stove, I added a tablespoon of olive oil once it was hot. I tossed in my one jalapeno that I diced and a tablespoon of minced garlic. I let this cook together for about a minute or so. And I do wanna let you know, if you're not a fan of jalapeno, you could always substitute it for bell pepper or onion or just not add it in. Now I'm tossing in my one cup of quinoa 
had that, I rinsed a cup of chicken broth, or you could use veggie broth, a can of drained and rinsed black beans, a can of drained corn. Next, I'm adding in one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, or you could use regular diced tomatoes. And then for the seasonings, a teaspoon of chili powder and a half a teaspoon of cumin with a dash of salt and pepper. Give this a stir, and then I let this simmer on my stove covered for about 18 to 22 minutes or until that quinoa was tender. I did stir it occasionally while it was simmering. The very last thing I did was once my quinoa was nice and fluffy, I added in the juice from one lime. I gave this a stir and then it was time to serve it up. Here's my plate of food. I topped mine with a little bit of cheese, guacamole, sour cream, tomatoes, fresh lime, and cilantro. This has amazing flavor. And this is one of those meals that I actually like to meal prep for lunch throughout the week. This white chicken lasagna soup is so, so good. To the pot on my stove, I added in about two tablespoons of olive oil once it was hot. I tossed in my one pound of cubed chicken breast and I'll season that chicken with a dash of salt, pepper, and dried basil. I gave this a stir and I let the chicken cook through at this point. While we have our chicken cooking away, I am going to cut up our veggies. So to the cutting board, I diced my two large carrots and I diced Diced my onion into smaller pieces. I'll set these veggies to the side and back over to our now cooked chicken. I'm going to remove it to a plate and I'm going to set this plate to the side. Into that same pot that we cooked our chicken in, I tossed a tablespoon of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter in there. Once the butter started to melt down, I added in those veggies that we cut up earlier, and I gave this a stir and I let these veggies cook for about four to five minutes to start to soften up. Now that they are soft, I added in a third a cup of all-purpose flour, and I gave this a stir. I let this flour cook in with those veggies for about two minutes. After those two Two minutes I slowly added in my eight cups of chicken broth you do want to make sure you add that chicken broth in slowly and whisk it while you add it in just to ensure that you don't have any clumps in your soup in the end Go ahead and add our cooked chicken right back in there along with a drained and rinsed can of cantalini beans. Next, you're going to add in the seasonings, two teaspoons of dried basil, a teaspoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of oregano, and then a teaspoon and a half of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Give this a really good stir. Now it's time to add in our lasagna noodles. So you'll want to add in between eight to 10 lasagna noodles and you do want to break them up into smaller bite-sized pieces just like this so your soup is easier to eat. But after you add those in there, you are going to give this a stir and let this simmer on your stove, stirring it frequently for about 22 minutes or until the noodles are tender. But now we're at that point and you're going to add in your two cups of half and half and 10 ounces of thawed out frozen spinach. Stir this all together and then after you are finished stirring this all together, it is cheese time, my favorite part. You'll add in a cup of mozzarella cheese and a cup of parmesan cheese. Let the cheese melt down and then it is time to serve. This is seriously the most beautiful, hearty, delicious soup for this time of year. It has so much great flavor and my husband and myself, we could eat bowls and bowls of this. Also, my little toddler Brinley loves it, so it is a win-win for my family. Now we're making this basil pesto chicken pasta to the pot on my stove. I have about a tablespoon of hot olive oil in there. Then I added my one pound of cubed chicken breast. I seasoned it with a teaspoon of dried basil, teaspoon of dried oregano, and then a dash of salt and pepper. I cooked the chicken through at this point. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we have our chicken cooked through, I removed it to a plate and I'll set this plate to the side into that same pot that we cooked our chicken in. I tossed in about four cups of water along with 12 ounces of bow tie pasta. Let this bow tie pasta boil and become tender. It took about 15 minutes for me. And then once it was tender, I did have some excess water in my pot that I wanted to remove. So go ahead and remove that excess water. I just strained it over my sink and then you will add that strained pasta back into your pot along with two cups of sliced cherry tomatoes one cup of basil pesto you could use any brand of basil pesto you like and then a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes and then add back in your cooked chicken stir this all together let all the ingredients kind of dance together and then it is time to serve Here's my plate of food. I topped mine with a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese. And I don't know if I've told you guys, but my husband absolutely loves anything pesto. So this is the type of meal for him that he could eat for days and days and not get tired of it. And it really does have amazing, great flavor. I really truly would love to have you here so go ahead and subscribe down below the video so you don't miss any more videos in the future and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.